Hello everybody, I am Bolt Matrix, and today we are taking a look at the Tool Assemble Builder Bots from SirToys.com. Now, SirToys did provide these figures for me for review, and they were a surprise. I didn't know they were coming. Both of these figures come with a couple of accessories. Both of them come with a similarly colored screwdriver. I have lost both of them already. Thank you, cats. Uh, seriously, the cats got into the box they were in, and I haven't seen the screwdriver since. Uh, they were very tiny. They were only like this big. And speaking of something that was that big, the fire truck comes with this tiny little gun. Tiny little gun. It's just a cute little gun. No, it doesn't fit anywhere on the vehicle mode. I've tried. Now, the figures we have here are a yellow dump truck, which is a cute little dump truck. I do like it. I like the yellow dump truck. And the dump truck mode does sort of work. It doesn't go all the way, but it sort of works. Now, the fire truck, or the ladder truck here, is very similarly molded, but has a different backpack. The ladder goes up and down. And I'm all but convinced the ladder is assembled wrong. But... I mean, that's the way it came, but I'm pretty sure that is supposed to be the full bucket. I'm not totally certain, because I haven't been able to find these exact figures on the website. There are a couple of figures that are from the same line, specifically a fire truck and a logging truck, but not these two. So what does the builder part do? Well, you can take a normal everyday screwdriver and unscrew the screws that are on the wheels and remove the wheels, which are very nice because they're rubber. These are actual rubber wheels, which I greatly appreciate. And then you can just, you know, screw them back on. And then there is a screw in the front of each figure, but on mine, it doesn't do anything. Yes, you can unscrew this screw, and then you could just pull off the front of the vehicle mode and swap them around, because they're all pretty much the same. So you could totally do that. But, uh... Oh, yeah, did I mention that they transform? You can see a real little robot head there. And before you ask, yes, they can both do the thing. Dang it, Toy Guy, you've completely ruined me. Now I just keep calling it Poo-Thing. Both of these figures transform in exactly the same way. To start off with, come to the bed of each one and slide the bed back, and they will both lift off, then flip up the toes. Once the toes are flipped up, come to the front of the vehicle mode and unpeg the wheels and flip up the head, and then drop the hips down and turn them around and stand the figure up. And yes, if you're wondering, this does feel like a play school figure. The red figure is exactly the same. Slide the back off, unpeg the arms, flip up the toes, drop the hips down and turn them around, and flip up the head. I did mess up a little bit with the dump truck. That whole section does flip up. It was just pegged in so tight into the gray section that I, I couldn't get it to pop up. Each of the backpacks have this little slide that can then disconnect. And then if there is an accessory that can peg in and ratchet around, it can do that. Unfortunately, this one doesn't. It's kind of connected to the fire truck part, which then pegs back in and slides into place. Unfortunately, there's no way to peg in or use the extra bits from the vehicle mode in robot mode that I have found. Uh, if you have these figures and you can find a way to do something with that stuff, let me know down in the comments. Red comes with the gun, which, as you can see here, fits nicely in the hand. And the fists are articulated, which is just... I find that very funny because I was not expecting the fists to be articulated, but they are. That's a nice touch. There isn't any real articulation to these figures since, well, I mean, they only kind of do one thing and they're meant for small children, but hey, you know what? These are cute little toys that I'm sure young kids would love. And I've seen a whole bunch of figures like these on Amazon that, you know, I peruse Amazon to find interesting stuff. And I find a lot of toys now that are, you know, screwdriver based that you can disassemble and reassemble into other giant robots. So this is definitely moving in that direction. I do like these little things. If my son was a little bit younger, maybe around five or six, he would definitely be into these. He's into the vehicle modes, but other than that, I mean, he's eight now, so he's into much more complex stuff like Mario Kart and 
oddly enough, Metroid Prime. I think these things are fun, especially for younger kids. They're just neat little Transformers, and they're a decent alternative to play school Transformers, which I swear don't sell, but they seem to keep making them. All right, folks, that's it for this video review. Thank you so much for watching. Links for these figures are down in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Bo Matrix, and I'll catch you all next time.